I was getting a lot of shin splints. Um, I always blamed it on being flat-footed. So being flat-footed, I thought that a lot of my issues stemmed from that and that it wouldn't make me a, an efficient runner and that I was constantly getting uh, calf issues. Um, sometimes I'd get some knee issues uh, whenever I would run a marathon or ultra marathon. Mm-hmm. Um, and I happened to find your program on YouTube and I just kind of started watching videos and, you know, eventually I was trying to do it on my own and I realized that it might be beneficial for me to, to get a coaching session from you. And obviously you and I met up and, um, I, I will say I was initially skeptical at first because a lot of the mainstream was, you know, oh, do, uh, calf exercises and I was doing calf exercises for, you know, a hundred reps and adding weight and progressive overload and nothing was working for me. And so I started to even question the mainstream. And so I, I really enjoyed that you kind of questioned the mainstream and, and I think it's helped me. I mean, in the 12 weeks that you and I have worked together, I had like zero glutes activation yeah. um, and now I'm, I'm feeling more glutes than I have ever before. And I'm, now uh able to run and feel free and you know i'm not i don't have full glute activation but even the the much that i do have i i feel like i could run like a gazelle now so i've been super grateful about the journey for sure right so was the assessment helpful in the beginning it was yes to understand Um, the difference it was because i think i you know, I, I knew my body, I knew how to stretch and I knew which items to stretch. And, um, but I never did like a actual evaluation of each body part by itself. And I think that was like super helpful to actually pinpoint, okay, Hey, here's this trigger spot, or, you know, I do have an adhesion there. Um, and you know, here's kind of how I feel from a scale of one to 10. So actually putting metrics behind it was super helpful uh, in order for me to be able to track my progress. Right. So at what week did you see like your body made the biggest uh, progress that you feel? I don't feel feel like I made a lot of progress um, in the first couple weeks. I think because coming from like zero glue activation, it was really difficult for for me to do some of the exercises and I was always tired after them. Um, it was probably around, you know, week six after the halfway point, for sure. I started to feel a little more and, and it was kind of exciting. Uh, even when I would ask you like, Hey, how does the structure of my foot look? And you would say, Oh yeah, I could see that, you know, there's definitely some kind of evolution going on with the structure of your foot. Um, that wasn't there before. So that was very encouraging for me at least. Right. So, for example, um, that you were watching YouTube, we definitely have a lot of content. We also have other social media content. Like, what message from our social media made sense to you that you want to, you know, look into it more? Um, I think it's just the basics. So, you know, I think one of the messages was like, yeah, you could lift weights all all day long but if you're just trying to build a heavier machine you're just going to run like a heavier machine right that a lot of the propulsion a lot of the power comes from the fascial connection uh that ties the muscles together and i think intuitively that just made sense in my head of like yeah if you think about it from a tensile strength your fascia is going to be a lot stronger than your muscles so yeah your your muscles are are there and they help you know, propel you to a certain degree, but at the end of the day, it's kind of just extra weight. Yeah, got yeah. it. And got it. and I came in at 155 pounds, and you basically told me to stop going to the gym, and you know, I lost like 10 pounds, and so I was a little sad to see the 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 muscle go a little bit, but you know, I'll take it for the extra power that I got from from running. Right, but you did eat a little bit less. That too, yes. Right. Okay. Very good. So in terms of the feeling you do the elevated tail curls, which I ask any everybody who complete the program, where do you feel now? The elevated tail curls is like easily the one of the most underestimated uh, exercises. At first, it 
very difficult to get your feet and your toes to scrunch the towel and then to get it to go under your feet. And you end up thinking to yourself, like, am I even doing this right? Like, this is not a natural feeling to be scrunching my feet and get that sensory um, connection. But the more you do it, just like every, every other thing, you know, practice makes perfect. So the more I got to do the elevated towel curls, the more I felt like, oh, this is easier. So as I did them with you, I felt like by the end of it, I was able to get a good glute connection and have a stronger foot uh, arch out of it. Right. So in your own words, how would you describe, you know, HFT to someone who has not tried before? There is no right or wrong answer, just your own words. Uh, you may not believe it, but it works. Music